right there. Okay, see? I'm recording right now. Yeah, but there's a guy there. Really? Yeah. So we're gonna get out, and this is supposed to be where yeah. Jimi Hendrix is. Ooh. Uh huh. And where, look at, what's this graveyard called? There's a Greenwood Memorial. Greenwood Memorial. Memorial, yes. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna, gonna go ahead get, and get out. out. Okay. Okay, I hope this is recording. We're in uh, Greenwood Memorial. It's dark out here. Cemetery in Renton, Washington. And if anybody knows of the old um, singer, the legend of Jimi Hendrix, I met his dad, Al Hendrix. This is his grave. They moved him, actually. He was way over there. There's a sundial. Might come back in the daytime. I think they, that's more likely what they did this year. But it was, I should have brought the flashlight. Yeah. I just couldn't find it. Oh, you looked before? Well, yes, I have. But I'll tell you, I'm going to see it this way, way sort of. It's several times before we were together. It's a guitar. I'm going to step on. Okay, I'm going to get my flashlight. Because it's dark. Okay, let's see. I know I have my flashlight in here somewhere. I don't need my mask. Okay. And I hope it works. Yay, score. That's a sundial here at oh, Jimi Hendrix's grave. Uh, Katie was her name, yeah. Jocko's where Al Hendrix, Jimi Hendrix's dad was, which I met him. This is Jimi Hendrix, a uh, big, huge, biggest one that I have ever seen, stone grave. There's a guitar. Oh, really? So every night when they would get done, at about 1942, 1970. And yes, I did meet Jimi Hendrix's dad, Al Hendrix, years and years ago. And it looks like girls have actually kissed him. You can see. Lipstick. You know, at the other grave stone that he was at, um, people would leave all sorts of stuff over there. They chopped the hair off a little bit. It was bullets, roach clips, everything over there. Even money. Like I said, um, Greenwood. Memorial. But yeah. But it, it's pretty interesting. Ooh, it's blurry right, right here. Wendell, is that true? What I've heard even on some of the other videos on YouTube, if they said it gets blurry, it's like a spirit or something. It could be. I don't know. That but, just uh, got blurry all right there. Uh, if you're around here for a while, there's another place too. Now, if you go by there, you're gonna find nothing but a dump. I don't mean to be putting this in your eyes. I'm just but, trying to get the but, uh, guitar. Uh, off of I-5, there's what's called the Kent Des Moines Road. Somebody put flowers. And it cuts over to what they call Pacific Highway. When you get to where Pacific Highway and the Kent Des Moines Road for cross, the man the road, with like the guitar and envelope. Itself. Back in the day before it was a four-lane road, it was a two-lane road. And and one of the guitar last places picks. that Jim used to play it a lot about it was called Spanish Castle. Which is that song he sang mm -hmm. Spanish Castle? Yeah. I don't that's know what, what that is right there. Is like that, that a light really? right there? Yeah. Yeah, is that, that looks like a light that's Does it probably turn on? supposed to come on, but it's not. Maybe you turn it on. I don't know. You want somebody to try? Somebody left my guitar pick. So yeah, you there's read. guitar picks. That yeah, man, that's cool. But um, yeah, anyway, so um, yeah, there's a lot of different places and things around here. A lot of people that he yeah, people that met him, him and um, <coughs> he had a lot of influence on and everything around here. Yeah. I mean, one of the few songs I do know how to play on my guitar is Purple Haze. So, 
And I met his dad. Yeah, that's why I saw him. So there's a lot of us that know a lot of people that had their influence that didn't know him directly and stuff. Um, even, I don't know if you ever heard of Quincy Jones. Oh, yeah. Well, Quincy Jones was from this area, too. Really? Yeah, he uh, went to uh, Garfield High School. Yeah, I think I, I remember that from uh, the movie Ray. Yeah. Ray Charles coming into yeah. town and meeting Quincy. Him and Ray Charles ended up being good friends. Yeah. In fact, there was a local celebrity that was here called J.P. Patches, and anyway, his, uh, oh, here's a penny. his sidekick, which was a guy that called himself Gertrude on the J.P. Patches show. This. Um, Legends. Was, uh, I don't know Bob what that Newman. is. You can find him on uh, Facebook. Some weird thing. Bob Newman talks yeah, about that. He went to high school in there in Boys Glee, and he looks over and it's one of the guys that was in class because they was trying to get this one song down. And they People leave weird and stuff. Get this song down. Nobody, this Piece of driftboard. Nobody's going home until this song is basically, we got it down. Uh, love it and, and of course, peace on it. Everybody's trying on to get it. it together about that time Bob Newman yells at this one kid who's sitting there writing this piece of sheet music and everything else. And Bob Newman says, we can just stop that so we can get this done. You know that's not going to go anywhere. So just I'm not going to read all this. Well, he was Something about voodoo, voodoo child. Huh. Jimmy <laughs> Hendrix right there. You know, that's not going anywhere. And of course, that's, then you said that's that a lot to it's read. Like, if I knew anything, well, it's kind of cool because I ran into Bob Newman. And because I work out at the airport, um, I turned around and I said, I need to tell Bob that I seen you. And he says, well, I'd appreciate that so much. So I saw Bob Newman. I said, hey, Quincy Jones came through. I got to the time at TSA. It's over at the screen. Uh -huh. And I said, so I hope you don't mind, but I did you a favor and told him that you uh, could give him a high. And he goes, well, thank you. <laughs> did you remember him? Brandon didn't have any idea. Oh yeah, he knew I was talking about mm, the guy, like I said, on one. his uh, YouTube, because he's retired now in the rest home, but they still go in and see him. Makes you realize how old everybody's getting, because these guys are like all in their 80s now. Uh-huh. Some of them almost So did 90s. you ever get to see Jimmy play? Uh, unfortunately, no. I never got to see him play. Almost got a chance when I was a kid. So going down the sidewalk here. There's the guitar. You can see how big it is. First time I've been here um, to see this grave, but like I said, it's hard to see. It's dark out here, but it was, I forget where it was actually. It was somewhere around here. And I can hear the water fountain way over there. I don't want to be doing a lot of zoom in, zoom out, and then my camera messes up, but I want to go see what this is. I'm going to be brave. There was another car in here, and there's a, my husband talking with a guy, but another waterfall over here. I don't know what this is. So I'm walking alone. I'm going to be brave. I hope it's not what I think it might be, or I'm going to chicken out. I do hear water. Oh, wow. No, it's, it's not. This wasn't here either. It's a bridge. There's water. Like I said, this would have been great to see in the daytime. We can always come back. We're not that far away from it. Here's the other side. You can see rocks down there. I don't know if there's any fish in here. Like I said, it's not really that scary. If I was, like, alone alone, which I wouldn't be, well... Let's just say I wouldn't be here long. Daytime, maybe. There's my shadow over there. And this goes into a bunch of other tombstones, so after I look at this, I'm going to... Um, I'm one of the victims of Hurricane Katrina.
Yeah, we originally came up here to Renton just to do a few things and shop. I used to live in Renton a long time ago and ended up eating Mexican food and thought we'd stop by here and find the grave. Okay, well, I'm going to walk out of here. Okay, come on, focus. There we go. That would be cool if we saw a ghost out here. Yeah, a bunch of these are new. I don't remember these. This one's got a picture on it. I said I'm not going to wander off too far. Here's some more. Yeah, these are all new added additions, but they're all like Asian. Well, this is kind of like that thing they made down in, um, what you call it? These are neat. They're pretty. Yeah. Okay. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.